In this week's video, we are back in San Francisco for a nostalgia tour. We are closing out our deep dive into the city with a closer look at where we lived shortly after we were married. We spent the day reminiscing as we took Muni to Noe Valley, walked around the mission, and got a burrito. It was a gorgeous September day in San Francisco, so come with us as we try to remember what our life was like in 1999. We're Zeke and Terry, empty nest midlife travel adventurers from the San Francisco Bay Area. After nearly getting divorced and rebooting our relationship, we decided to focus focus on our shared passion for travel and adventure. We launched this channel to inspire other empty nesters to get out, get dirty, and live this crazy thing called life by exploring places both near and far. In 97, after I finished my MBA, we moved to San Francisco and we lived at Church and 20th near the Castro, Mission, and Noe Valley. A few years later, we ended up buying a flat in the Mission, and we thought it would be fun to show all of you the neighborhood in which we used to live. One of the reasons why we ended up living in the Mission was because of the sunshine, and so we're hoping for some good sunshine. of 1997 we moved into this building right here that was not rust color when we lived here the hallway was turquoise the bathroom was like mustard yellow but we lived here from November of 97 to February of 1999 when we bought our place down in the mission how about if we hop on the J church and head over to Noe Valley we just took Muni from uh, Church and 20th to basically Church and 24th. There's in, a big hill in between there, so yeah. <laughs> it was worth it. Uh, in Noe Valley, and we used to spend a little bit of time over in Noe Valley, and so we're gonna walk around and see if there's anything that we recognize. So one of the things that we absolutely loved about DC was being able to just walk, bump into restaurants, bump into shops. We just walked into a little place called Wink SF. I needed a birthday card, some greeting cards, and I ended up buying a little wallet. Um, House of Tarot, Psychic Reading, and Love Counseling. Do you think that they know we're coming? our dog Katie when we lived down at Shotwell on 18th we would walk a couple blocks put in an order for the chicken at Delfina and then we would walk over here and it's an off-leash play area and it was so much fun to just hang out in the evening let the dog run around a lot of coffees at Park Cafe and you can see our place is right back there the rust colored building You were like our version of a reality show with your strange clothes and rituals. But now you come into my house with your madness where I literally choke on your insanity. <laughs> you need help. Moving east on 18th, we're moving down into the mission. It's really a very vibrant, multicultural, diverse area with lots of restaurants and shops. We moved in and we were part of the gentrification problem in February of 1999, which is always interesting for a community that needs some money for revitalization and at the same time wants to maintain its culture and uh, its neighborhood feel. Quite the balancing act. We're going to be super nostalgic and go find a shrimp burrito, garlic shrimp burrito. In the women's building, it has the most amazing murals on the outside. And when we moved to the mission, it was one of the first murals that I think really struck us. That's the first one I remember. But there's a lot of alleys and different little nooks and crannies that have more murals. When we lived here, Byright opened, and that was a really big deal because it was organic and sustainable. And then shortly thereafter, they opened up Byright ice cream across the street, which tends to draw huge crowds because it's really, really good ice cream. And I loved getting flowers and produce at the Byright Market. Do you remember that? I do, I do. I remember Dolores Park Cafe was one of the first things that opened, and then it just sort of spread down 18th. Well, this is where we started not only our family, but home ownership in this building right there. We were on the first floor. And on the day that we moved in, we found out that the reason why the place was new, along with a couple of others, is it sits on Mission Creek. And during the 1989 earthquake, a lot of the buildings 
kind of collapsed or became condemned because of Mission Creek. And then there were squatters and then there were fires and then they tore everything down and built a couple of new buildings. Definitely the area has gone through a lot of changes. Across the street from us was a warehouse and then it got turned into the ODC th Dance Theater. It really was an up and coming neighborhood and it had its fair share of issues. We worked closely with the police department and social services and other neighborhood services to find ways to make it safe for everyone who lived here. And I have quite the story of what triggered us to uh, leave the neighborhood, but I'll leave that for another day <laughs> because we still have not found the burrito. We are hungry, we need to go eat. <laughs> we need burritos. We need food. Today is an unusually warm day in San Francisco, and unlike other places around the country, we are not set up for hot days with air conditioning everywhere. So in the shade, fortunately, there's a little bit of a reprieve. How's huh, Zeke? It's beautiful in the shade. <sighs> Mission Cliffs. We spent many weeknights there with my coworkers when I worked at Culture Pharmaceutical in South San Francisco. Before kids. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. It's like two blocks from where we used to live. And this climbing. Let's add it to our list of things that we don't have time for. <laughs> While we were having lunch, I took a look at how many steps we've done today and it was less than 5,000. And it reminded me just how small San Francisco is. I think people think of San Francisco and they think of this like huge metropolis, but it's really not very big. Because that was one of the great things about living in the mission is everything is kind of within walking distance. moved to this location in 1999 and we remember when it moved here so but they have tarot they have gems they have a, a two-headed calf up on the wall we got a live plant October they're gonna be having this guy Nikos do a mural on the outside so we'll definitely have to come back and check it out cool so this nostalgia tour for me is more of a how much have I forgotten tour Right now we're at Valencia and 20th, and if we just walk two blocks down that way and we hit Mission and then go towards 18th, 17th, 16th, it's a completely different world. It just shows just how small and compact and neighborhood focused um, San Francisco is and why I love it so much. <laughs> Well, thanks for joining us on our stroll down memory lane here in San Francisco and the Mission in Dolores Park in Millie Valley. Does it make you want to move back? Kind of, but I also really like Redwood City. Yeah, I do too. Love we to visit though. Love to visit and we've had a really good time in Washington DC. We had fun in Paris. Next week we're going to Chicago and Milwaukee, which will be in upcoming videos and also in Madison. We'll get to experience some other big cities uh, without actually having to live there. And then we can come back and hang out with the dog and the cats and watch the birds in the backyard. All right, there thanks for go. joining us. One thing I don't miss is having to walk up this hill to get my car, move my car, park my car. I don't miss that. Hey Zeke, how are you doing today? Hold up your hand. Show the people your hand. Like this hand? Yeah, what happened yesterday? Well, railroad tracks are a little tricky to cross sometimes on a bike. So I get this call when I get done with tennis yesterday. I'm walking out. I've had a fantastic morning. Great ladies, beautiful weather, nice country club that I don't belong to. And I'm like, as he calls him, like, hey, how's it going? He goes, hey, can you pick me up at the spot where you crashed your bike? And I'm like, you were on my bike? I'm like, what? And he goes, well, stop by the house and pick up some paper towels. Well, I didn't like, want to get your interior of your car, dirty. It's a brown interior. It probably would have matched. Mm -hmm. 